you are not going to guess that this is the same kid that was on the deathbed a few months ago. This is a miracle and a half, no doubt about it. The miracle for Howie Black began like many children's Nebraska heart patients in one of a dozen outreach clinics. I was thinking in, in my mind that, oh, no, 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 there's nothing wrong with him. He's, he's probably fine, but we'll take him to Children's in Sioux City and um, we'll go from there. Well, Howie was introduced to me as a baby. He came for evaluation of what we call a heart murmur, sound of the heart. That heart murmur eventually led to Children's Cardiac Catheterization Lab, where a would-be standard procedure revealed a much bigger problem, pulmonary arteriopathy. If sort of this is the diameter of an artery or a vessel that's supposed to take blood, how these arteries were about that size. Left untreated, this condition is fatal and requires a very involved technical operation available at only a handful of heart centers nationwide. We're opening these arteries, freshening up the edges and putting a patch so we end up with a tube that's big enough to take blood into Howie's lungs. For 12 hours, a trio of cardiothoracic surgeons and dozens of operating room team members overcame a series of obstacles. We have the odds stacked very much against us. But at the end of it all is Howie's life. And we decided that we're gonna fight for it. That fight leading to an early success story from the Chris Hart Center's new pulmonary artery rehabilitation program. The only one of its kind in the Midwest combining elite surgical skill, an experienced cath lab, and extensive ICU management. The day that he walked out is a day I'm going to remember for a very long time. Because that in so many ways represents the success of modern medicine, the success of people who are just willing to put their heads together and work really hard, the success of a family that's been through a lot, but also the success of true dedicated, multidisciplinary teamwork. You know, he tells me um, not to build him up so much because he's just a man, but there was something about him. He really gave me hope. I mean, if it wasn't for him, you know, my child wouldn't be here. Now two years old, Howie will be a lifelong heart patient, but his family is excited for the future thanks in part to a collaborative care team that extends from Omaha's campus to their hometown, nearly 100 miles away. When you look at the Howies of the world, this is the gratifying part of your career. This is the part that, you know, the hardship that the parents went through, and then you see him just giving you a five and, and just behaving like how a child should behave. This is it, this is it.